Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I will show you how to make text emboss in 3D Printing. Let's scratch to this topic. Text emboss in 3D Printing. I'm going to first go over the emboss here, and then I will show you how to do it on Fusion 360, how I color them on a slicer. What is a text emboss? Well, for this piece right here, imagine like a billboard or just like a wall, and it has text that comes out like a couple of millimeters. Take a look at this. You can see that the text is our is embossed our so that is text embossed the text pops out like 3d the second type of emboss is text deboss here where you can see that the text is pushing or debossed into this piece right here the text is indented into this piece of plastic the third type of text emboss is this which i call it text inside i don't know what is the proper name for this but the text and the back piece here is flush with each other so the text is written right into this back piece plastic here i'm going to show you three different types a text emboss where the text is extruded outward the next one is text deboss where the text is extruded inward and the third type here which the text is written right on top of this piece right here so it's flush against each other. Now that you see the three type of text emboss here, I'm gonna show you on Fusion 360 how I did it. We are now in Fusion 360, so I'm gonna show you how I do text emboss. For whatever reason, today Fusion 360 is pretty slow, so bear with me. Create a new sketch R on my keyboard, or you can just go up here and create a new sketch. It's gonna make a very simple rectangle here. The dimension doesn't matter. You can make it however big or small you want. But we're just going to do it 100 millimeters by 30 millimeters. And then that'll be it. I'm going to extrude this by 5 millimeters. I'm going to create another sketch on the face of this block here. Then I'm going to go to create. Go to text. You can constrain it to here. But I don't like that because you can't really move it later. So I'm just going to do it very close here. And then do it very close to the other side too so that I can adjust however it's need so we're just going to do a very simple text text and boss i'm going to do bold so for the font usually i will go and pick one of these two can't really pronounce this but i pick one of these two it makes the text big so that you can 3d print if you choose something like this it's going to be very small and when you go and 3d print it's not going to turn out good so let's pick this one, element extra bold here, and then I'm going to align to the center, center like this, just to make it center. Click OK, finish the sketch. So here you can go ahead and extrude, but that is not the best way to do it. Since this is a flat surface here, you can just go ahead and extrude the text. But if you have a curved surface or something like irregular, not flat, you want to use the emboss tool down here. Go to create, go to emboss, and then we're going to click on the text. Go up to this window here, click face, select, then we're going to select this face here. Rotate the screen a little bit here, and we can see that the, the depth is 2 millimeter. The effect is going to be this emboss. You have deboss too but we're gonna use emboss for this first one here click ok and boom look at that we got our text emboss right there so now we just want to go ahead and fill it the edge make it not sharp make it round make it look good just do five millimeters look at that we got a text emboss right there go back to our sketch one extrude this by five millimeter but this time i'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste this piece so that we have an extra body and we don't have to keep extruding i should have done that on the first one we're gonna hide body three we are going to use body two i'm gonna create a new sketch on this body two here or on this face here go to create go to text do the exact same thing text d boss so this time it's going to be the text deboss finish the sketch go to create go to emboss click the text select the face which is this face right here and for the effect we're going to select deboss it's going to change the depth to a negative number so click ok 
And now we have our deboss text right there. Look at that. It extrude inward. Same thing. We're going to round up the edge with five millimeters. Look at that. The second one, we're going to name it deboss. And now for the third one, we're going to create a new sketch. Then I'm going to go to text. We're going to do the same thing here. And then not sure what this is called. I just do text inside just for this one. Click OK. Finish the sketch. You want to use the same tool, the emboss. But this time, we're going to be doing deboss for this. We're going to deboss first, and then we're going to extrude the text out or extrude the text to the original place. Click OK. Here, I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this because this was the mistake that I did the first time I tried something like this. This body right here will be the correct one, and then this will be the non correct. We'll have one that is correct and one that is not correct. So, in order to do this, you want to make a sketch on the face here. Just make a quick sketch on the face of the body there. And now that we have this, you can see that all of these are outlined and they are a sketch of our sketch here. What you want to do is go ahead and offset all these characters. Go to the tools, click modify, go down, offset, or you can press O on your keyboard. We're going to offset this by 0 0.03. That's what I've been doing and it works pretty well. Let's go to the next one. Click O, offset. If this is on the inside like this, it's a positive number. But if you offset and it goes out like this, it will be a negative number. So for this, it will be 0 0.03 again. Don't forget, you need to do the middle part too. But the middle part is not a part of the sketch yet. So what you want to do is project this with the keyboard shortcut is P. Or go to create, go all the way down, project, project right here, project this. You will want to project all the letters that are inside like E, D, and A, stuff like that. So we're going to project all of those faces. And now just do the same thing. Press O, offset, and since it's on, on the outside here, it will be 0 0.03 again. Just go ahead and do 0 0.03 for all of the letters here. This is the way I do it. I think there's a better way of doing this, but I have not figured it out. If if any of you that are Fusion 360 expert, please let me know a faster way of doing text like this. Now that we are done with all the letter here, I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to click extrude this time. If we zoom in very close here, you can see that there's two lines. You just want to extrude the middle portion here. We're going to extrude all the middle portion of all the letters. You can just click the middle part. It will work. Select all of that. Our deboss was negative two millimeters. So we're going to do the same thing. Negative two millimeter and be joined right here. And there we go. We have a little space here that we can go ahead and paint it later in our, in our slicer. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill in all the edges here just to make it look good. Five millimeters. There we go. We have our text inside finished. So now I'm going to show you the wrong way of doing this. So what I have done in the past is that I just extrude all the text as it is here without having any offsets like I just showed you. And I thought that this might work, but it did not work. I usually do this and then use it as new body Do that. And you can see that it's kind of similar to our text inside here. I'm going to move it to the side so you can see it better. If we look at this, it seems really similar. But this one does not work. This one works. And besides, this one has so many body here that's just going to be weird. So usually I do this and I just hide everything. I will go and export it as an STL file. But once it's imported to a slicer, it counts as a solid body. Or if you export it exactly like this, it's going to count as like all this body you can see over here. So this is not the way to do it. This is a very really bad way of doing it. Unless you want to manually print out the text here. And then after you print all of that, you print the text. And then you print the backboard here. And then you press in the letter 
but that's not what you could print anymore, right? So yeah, so that's another way to do it. Okay, there we go. We have three text emboss here. The deboss, the emboss, and then the text inside. Go over to a slicer and I'll show you how I paint them. I'm just gonna use Orca Flash Forge since I got this open already. I got all the 3D models here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the text emboss first. Go up to the color painting. So this is what I usually do. The color that I'm gonna use for the body is gonna be the main color. As you can see here, everything is black. And then the text, I'm gonna have to pick a different color. So we're gonna use this blue color here. You can go ahead and paint them like this, right? But it's not gonna be clean. So that's not a good way of doing it. You can fill in like this, but this take a long time and you need to fill all the edges like this, all the corners and you gotta turn around, you gotta do all of that. I do. I did that and it was very time consuming. I'm using this thing here called height range. Select that, make the height big like this. It doesn't really matter. So then we're gonna select from this point upward like this. Look at that. Even though the base here has the color, you can just go ahead and select the color, the black color again, click fill and kaboom, look at that. But there's still one more thing that you need to do in order to make this look good. You need to color in all the inside of the text like that or the letters like this so that the E, the B, and the O has the background of black. And that's how you do a text emboss color. Now let's go to the text deboss. It's the same thing. Just use the height range tool, select your color, and then the base here, and then go up. And then once you have done that, go back to your original color and just color those hour. But you want to color all the O's, the B, and the E, the middle of the text like that. So that it will look good like that. Now to the last model here, the text inside here. As you can see here, there's a 0 0.03 millimeters clearance right here. So that it will allow you to paint here. If you don't have this gap, it's going to think that it's a solid model and it will not allow you to paint the text, the letter itself. So this one, I'm just going to be selecting the fill and just click on the letters like this. For this one, you got to do individual letters. There we go, text inside. Now, if we slice the plate and we look at this, it will print out exactly like this, which is very nice and beautiful. By doing this, it already has like two to three layers here. Look at this, one, two, three layers, four layers, five layers. So we'll have five layers, the text is going to be inside. It's just not going to be on the very, very top. So your text is going to hold for a long time without falling off. That's how you do text embossed color on a slicer. As you saw there, text embossed and text debossed. It's not that hard to do, but this one is a little bit more difficult to do if you are doing it for the first time. This might be a little bit more difficult to get it right for the first time. I have to try a couple of times in order to get the text here, but for these two is pretty easy. You just emboss in or out. But this piece, like I show you, you need to have a little bit of space so that you can paint the text in the slicer. Well, that'll be it for this video of me showing you how I do text emboss in 3D printing. If you still have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will try my best to answer. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And as always, keep on 3D printing.